Have you ever wondered if you just spend a thousand dollars in upgrades, how much more you can sell your house for? I'm Denise Schilling, real estate agent, and today we're gonna find out. So this condo is currently on the market. It's the two bed, one bath, just over 800 square feet, listed at $225,000. We've had several showings, but only one offer at $150,000. So the seller has given me $1,000 to use to update this place. And obviously with $1,000, we can't do a full kitchen or bathroom upgrade, but there are definitely some upgrades that we can do to get a higher sale price and get it sold. I sent over a list of options for the seller that add up to no more than $1,000 to spend, and we're gonna see if we can get an offer higher than $150,000. Okay, upgrades have been completed. Their budget was originally $1,000, which they wound up spending a little bit over. It was just over $1,100, including labor. Still, that's not bad. If you remember, our original offer was $150,000 to buy this condo. We just sold it for $210,000 just by putting $1,100 of upgrades in it. Now, if you remember the flooring in the before photos, well, there wasn't a floor. The carpet was in bad shape, so the previous homeowner had ripped it out. But we wound up finding these for about 80 cents a square foot at Lowe's, and they matched really nicely with the flooring that was already in the kitchen, as well as the hallway back to the bedrooms. And I think it was well worth the cost putting in the nice new floor in there. We also did a paint job throughout the entire place, including the ceiling. And if you remember, there was a fan up here in the before photos. Once the electrician got up there, he realized that it was not hooked up properly and was uh, kind of been a fire hazard. So he decided it was best to just close it up for safety reasons. So this condo community is not a luxury community. So spending extra money in granite or quartz countertops is not gonna get you the money back into it. It's not necessary. You can purchase these pre-made countertops ready to be picked up at Home Depot or Lowe's for about $150. And as you can tell, it doesn't have the high end kind of a backsplash. It's a pre-made backsplash that comes into these countertops. A more modern countertop will be cut right here and you can put in your a higher end backsplash. They chose not to use that expense on here. They painted all the cabinets instead of replacing new cabinets because they're in great shape. We didn't need new, uh, new cabinets. So they painted inside and out. There was a old paper towel holder hanging here. There was a, a light up here that was broken. It wasn't even working. So the, we just removed all of that. We put a new sink in which you can get easily at habitat for humanity or home depot for really cheap and new faucets and this isn't a fancy faucet probably about twenty dollars now they replaced this vanity with home depot again it cost them fifty dollars for a brand new vanity and it's obviously not a luxury high-end kind of uh, vanity. The one that I sent them had a little more detail in it and it was about $110, I believe. But they wound up going with the $50 one, which 
it completely works. All the light fixtures have been replaced in here and they're nice modern lights. Again, Home Depot, I believe is where they purchased it. And uh, I believe they're about $20 for each one. Now we've kept the old gold, gold doors. We talked about replacing it. We didn't have the budget for it. Uh, I talked about painting over it. But honestly, gold has uh, its comeback right now. So it's uh, gold features can be a very big plus. So we decided to leave that on the doors. It was discussed to leave the beams the color they were previously. However, the painter had painted them white by mistake, but I think it works. This room is a rather large bedroom and it was very dark the way that it was before. Paint job did a, a huge plus to it, but as beautiful as I thought the beams were with the original color, I think the white ceiling and the white beams brightened it up more. I think that was just a happy accident. Now I'm sure you've heard in investments, the higher the risk, the higher the reward. But as you can see, you don't always have to put in a huge risk. Every property needs a little bit of updating, even if it's just paint to get the most out of the purchase price. This is not a flip job on this condo. This is a homeowner that just wanted to make sure that she got the full amount that she could out of the property. And no, she did not want to take the house on the market. No, she did not want to put money into upgrades, but I think that she's quite happy to get another $60,000 out of the purchase price by putting 1100 in it. So if you're thinking about selling your house and you'd like to have a second opinion or have somebody come through it and tell you some minor upgrades that you can do to get the most out of the purchase price, feel free to give me a call, Denise Schilling. I'm happy to come and take a look at your house. If you like the video, don't forget to hit subscribe for videos every Tuesday and I will see you next week. Bye.